Hello again, this video follows a recent report about the market and specifically the Canberra market. So we'll share that with you uh, shortly. Uh, we love talking about the market, but first and foremost, the people think the market is just this one bubble quite often when we're chatting with people, but it's not just one. It's broken well, I think into it's the Australian market. Exactly. It's, it's not as simple as that. No, it's broken into different uh, price ranges, different styles of properties. But today we want to focus on location. We want to focus on home sweet home Canberra. And you need to be aware that Canberra performs differently than Sydney or differently than Melbourne. You might go, well, why is that? Well, we've got a different population um, and we've got different work dynamics. So at the moment, in Canberra, you need to be aware that about 50% of our workforce is government employees. So that means that our unemployment levels are significantly less. And in fact, uh, we understand is the government are going to be employing more people because of the right. initiatives that they're rolling out at the moment. Yeah, 100% right. So we wanted to report back on not just what we're seeing right now, but also the years that have gone by in a whole other uh, raft of things that have affect the market. Mark, what have you Let me take you through this. So we've got a chart that we're going to show you. Um, it might come up on screen now. Uh, and it's going to explain from 1991 through to where we are now in 2019 the amount of things that have impacted the world market and how we've got through them and how that relates specifically to how Canberra has survived to them. See, this chart will show us everything from the uh, Australia's recession back in 1991 through the bond market crisis, Asian financial crisis, we've got the terrorism attack in 2001, September 11th, there's SARS, GFC of course came in 2007, 2008, the swine flu in there, European debt crisis, the China-US trade war, folks right the way through to uh, obviously the fires that we had right at the start of the year uh, and of course the corona fire that we're seeing right now. Uh, what it shows is that there was actually relatively little periods of time even though there are these major world economic events where Canberra's property market was dramatically negatively affected. Uh, there's only very small amounts of time where there was negative property growth. Yeah. And I think the single biggest thing to note uh, on all of these events is that they ended and we came out of it and the market bounced back. So it's going to happen, no one knows when, but it is going to happen. There is light at the end of the tunnel, guys. And we think the cameras are really well insulated to be able to survive this better than most, again, because of our population, uh, because of our restricted geographic location, uh, the restrictions that we have on land releases. There's a lot of benefits here of, uh, of living in Canberra. So you probably, if you don't live in Canberra, you should come. Everything's going great here. We've still got employment. Get out of Sydney and Melbourne and uh, come live the good life here in Canberra. Uh, folks, that's our positive press for you and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time.